Metabolism. This segment of the tutorial will include building blocks and precursors, anabolism, catabolism, and the role of ATP. What is metabolism? Metabolism involves the creation of complex molecules from simple molecules, anabolism. <coughs> Metabolism is also the breakdown of complex molecules into simpler ones. This is catabolism. Building blocks from food. All living organisms get building blocks for the manufacture of cellular components from food and cellular breakdown products. Catabolism breaks down molecules into smaller units and releases energy. Catabolism. Anabolism builds complex molecules from simple ones and requires energy. Anabolism. Nucleic acids, lipids, carbohydrates, and proteins. Review building blocks. The four organic building blocks are made from precursors. Precursors come from the breakdown of food and cell components. Precursors are molecules that when assembled become one of the major building blocks of the cell. These are the precursors for the cell's building blocks. Nucleotides, amino acids, monosaccharides, and fatty acids. These are the building blocks. Nucleic acids. Proteins come from amino acids. Carbohydrates are formed from monosaccharides and lipids from fatty acids. Stages of anabolism. Blocks. Anabolism is the set of metabolic processes that require energy released from anabolism to build complex molecules. Anabolism has three stages. Stage one, precursors are produced, amino acids, monosaccharides, isoprenoids, and nucleotides. Precursors are activated using energy from ATP to become reactive. And in the third stage, the reactive precursors are assembled into complex molecules like proteins, polysaccharides, lipids, and nucleic acids. Anabolism examples. Organisms have differing types of molecules that they can make themselves. Autotrophs, like plants, can make complex molecules like polysaccharides and proteins from simple molecules like carbon dioxide and water. Heterotrophs need to have a source of complex substances like monosaccharides and amino acids to make complex molecules. Trophs flow sheet. Don't know how to tell if an organism is an autotroph or heterotroph? Follow this decision chart to determine the troph of an organism. Does it obtain carbon elsewhere? No. Energy from light? Yes. Then it's a photoautotroph. Obtain carbon elsewhere? Yes. Energy from light? Yes. Then it's a photoheterotroph. See the difference between the photoautotroph and the photoheterotroph. If it did not obtain energy from light, then it might be an energy from inorganic oxidation, yes or no? Yes, then it's a chemoautotroph. No, then it's an autotroph.
obtain carbon elsewhere, yes. Energy from light, no. Energy from inorganic oxidation, yes. Then it's a chemoheterotroph, no. Then it's a heterotroph. Catabolism. Catabolism is the breakdown of complex molecules, polymers, thereby releasing energy. This is a polysaccharide. Once it's broken down into monosaccharides, this is catabolism. Fatty acids. Breakdown products. Nucleic acid polymers. Nucleotides and proteins. Breakdown products or catabolism is amino acids. Catabolism and waste. Cells use monomers to make new polymers or degrade monomers further making a variety of waste products and releasing ATP. Polymers and monomers degraded to a variety of waste products including acetic acid, ammonia, urea, lactic acid, carbon dioxide, and releasing ATP. Anabolism versus catabolism. When do cells perform anabolism or catabolism? Anabolism, create new structures and enzyme, store unused nutrients for later use, Catabolism. Destroy old structures for recycling. Break down food products. Excess resources results in anabolism processes. Deficient resources would involve catabolism. Feeding period, anabolism. Fasting period, catabolism. Resting event is anabolism. Stress event is catabolism.